LinkedIn dynamic ads can help advertisers personalize the experience for users on the LinkedIn platform. In this video, we will cover the three dynamic ad formats that are available. And each of these ad formats are not available on every single campaign objective. So we're going to clarify that. We're going to show you the benefits of each of these dynamic ads and what they may look like when you're on the LinkedIn platform. The first LinkedIn dynamic ad option I want to go over is going to be follower ads. These ads try to encourage users on LinkedIn to follow your LinkedIn or showcase pages. And this ad format is available on both desktop and mobile devices. Another thing to note about follower ads is that it is only available on two campaign objectives. The first one will be brand awareness and the other will be engagement. We can see one of the points in this objective is to increase followers for your company page. So we can see overall that this is a more top of funnel type strategy. Since I do want to encourage more followers, I'm just going to choose engagement. Since this is a demo video, I already went in and filled in some targeting options. So we already see forecasted results. I'm not going to spend any time about targeting options on LinkedIn. I really want to just go over the dynamic ad format. But if you are interested in learning more about the targeting options on LinkedIn, Michelle recently updated her video about targeting options and you can watch that one here. So let me just scroll down to ad format and there we see follower ad. You notice that it said it's personalized using profile data. So when we start creating some of the ads, you'll be able to see what it could look like. So if I click on this format, scrolling down, we get a few different notifications. First is that they changed my language targeting to auto translate, and that's going to be back up higher over here. If you're worried about the messaging in your ad and you want full control, you can always go back to the drop down and change it to just one specific language. The other notification as I'm scrolling down was that the LinkedIn audience network has been disabled and that's fine. We're trying to get more followers to our LinkedIn page. Can't really do that on partner apps and websites. Keep scrolling down. I'm going to ignore the daily budget and your bids. Additional conversion tracking is optional. I'll leave that completely up to you, but let's just move on to the ad format. And then let's look at creating a new follower ad. So this LinkedIn campaign manager is pretty old. I made it when I made my first website. It has to be close to eight years ago now. But the company name is pulling from my LinkedIn company page and the ad image is pulling from my company profile image. And we can see both of those are in the ad preview. But back over to the left, we can see the components that make up this dynamic ad. First is a personalized headline. And each of the texts that's surrounded by the percentage symbols, those are LinkedIn macros. If I move my mouse over, we can see many other options in the dropdown. So I can even choose to pick something else. And there we see the text below the two images in the ad changed. I know we're used to having our headline be at the top, but this headline has the bigger text, but it's right between the images and the call to action. So that's going to get more eyeballs. So we see in the ad headline, the first piece of text is first name in all caps in between two percentage symbols. That will be the first name of the user who is seeing the ad. So whatever they have in their profile, that will be put within the headline. And at the tail end of the headline, we see the same thing, but company name. That's going to pull what I have as the company name. So in the next field below, as I said earlier, it's pulling the name of the page that I have set up. But as we can see, there's a character limit. I'm three characters over. If I wanted to, I can change the company name. I'll just paste something else in here. I updated the company name. So I didn't have to change the headline because that is going to pull whatever I have entered in this company name field. Down below with ad image, it's pulling the company logo from my page. But if I don't like that, I can X out of it and upload something else. Next, you can decide if you want to include the ad viewers profile image. It's definitely going to capture their attention if they see an image of themselves within an ad. So if you want the user to pay attention, leave it in there. It will help your engagements. But if you find that it may be a little bit creepy, you can uncheck this box and then just your company logo will be within the ad. I think it looks better. And then just like the headline, we can choose from a list of pre-selected descriptions. Some of these have macros in them, some don't. And one thing I realized I didn't mention in the headline that you can also do in the description is create your own option. You don't have to use any of the pre-selected options. So here you can type in a message. I'm going to paste in something here. Full name is another macro that you can use for dynamic ads. But if you feel you have a more compelling message in either your headline or description, then the default options that LinkedIn offers understand you can update it to be whatever you want within the given character limits, of course. If we scroll down a little bit, we see a call to action drop down. Now, right away, when you saw the ad preview, you may have noticed that the call to action button said visit careers. And in the beginning, when I was talking about campaign objectives, I said the goal was to increase followers for your LinkedIn or showcase pages. 
Well, in my targeting options, I just selected a bunch of member groups. And if you're sticking to really relevant member groups, there could be a good chance that people who already follow your company page are already members of those groups. So your ads still could show to those users unless you have some exclusion audiences in place. So we see here, this preview was showing to people who are currently followers of the page. If I click the drop down, select non follower view, we see the call to action is changed to follow. Everyone who isn't a follower of your page will get this call to action. You cannot change that. So the call to action we would select here would be to choose one of the options to have them engage with your brand. Go back up, change it back to current follower view, and now I'm having it visit the company. And the URL for this call to action will be the URL that I put within my main company page. And that one is done, so we can click create. Now let's talk about the second type of LinkedIn dynamic ad. And the second type of dynamic ads on LinkedIn are spotlight ads. These ads send users straight to your website and they are only available on desktop devices. And this ad format is only available for the objectives of brand awareness, website visits, and job applicants. So for this one, I'm gonna choose web visits. I'm gonna skip the targeting again. And there we see spotlight ad. Just like the follower ads, we get the same notifications about auto translate and the audience network. So we can skip those, skipping the budget and the bids again. Make sure your conversion tracking is set. That's fine. Now we can click next. Let's go and create our first spotlight ad. You can see some similarities between this format and the follower format. There's the profile image of the viewer who may see the ad. We have the company image, but in this case, we can add a background image. If you do add a background image, you can see that both the user's profile image and the ad description went away. You can see how bad it looks because the image I uploaded was not the 300 by 250 that they say it needs to be. But you kind of see what part of the image would be visible. So that may help you tweak the design. But if you don't want an ad background image, you can uncheck it. And there we see the image and the description is back. Depending on the color, like the ones that we had, it could make your ad pop a little bit. See how bright that ad was compared to the all white background of LinkedIn? It's just another thing that you can test between two different spotlight ads. The macros that we talked about in the follower ads are available in spotlight ads, but we get less options. We can only use the first name macro and the full name macro in a spotlight ad. So there we see the first name macro is working. And unlike the follower ads campaign, we didn't have a drop down of pre-selected headlines you can choose from. Same things with the description. In this case, we can choose not to even add a description if we just really want to focus on the main message. Another difference between this format is that we get to customize our call to action to be whatever we want. This is because we're not encouraging followers. We're sending people to our website or landing page. Next, we'll need our destination URL. I just tagged in our main URL. Please add in your parameters so you can track what's going on within this campaign. So you can see that follower ads and spotlight ads are very similar. It's almost like the campaign objective dictates it. Do you want more people to follow your company page? or do you want to send more people to your website? But if everything looks good here, you can click create, and then we can jump to the third type of dynamic ad you can create within LinkedIn. And the third type of dynamic ad you can create within LinkedIn is going to be job ads. Perfect if you're trying to get awareness in front of candidates who may be suitable for any job openings. No surprise here that the only campaign objective we can choose would be job applicants. So as I scroll down to the targeting option, I wanna stop here because there's an automatic audience exclusion added to this campaign objective. People who already say they work for your company on LinkedIn are automatically excluded from being targeted. That's a great proactive feature from LinkedIn. Well, now we can scroll down to ad format and here we see job ads. Same warning about auto translate and a little bit of a change with the audience network. It's automatically excluded not from the ad format we selected, but it's excluded from this campaign objective totally. Budget, bids, optional conversion tracking again because we're looking to get recruits, not on-site conversion actions. So let's click next and create our new ad. For the headline, we see the drop-down option again with the ability to create a custom headline. Let's try a corny one here. And here I just pasted in one option. Sorry, Michelle and I aren't hiring, so don't get your hopes up. Again, we see the option to use the profile image and then the call to action drop-down. We see just a few default options, but we do have the option for a custom call to action button we see underneath the call to action that it will lead to your company's job page on LinkedIn. So to show you where to do this, I'm gonna quickly hop into our company page. When you're logged into your company page, you can go to admin tools and then post a free job. I'm not gonna fill this out, sorry, because we have no jobs to offer and I don't wanna go back and delete it or have notifications sent out, but it's just a couple simple fields. Click get started for free 
add in whatever open roles you have, or at least the ones you would want to use for the job ads, and then you'll see we get a few different options. So let's hop back into the campaign manager. So since we know that you need to have the jobs on LinkedIn, because it's not going to send them to your website, we can now get an understanding of a few different ways of how these ads could appear. There's this option of picture yourself, where the call to action is almost like a separate section at the bottom. If I choose jobs page, there's another option. This one actually looks like a call to action button. And then jobs of interest, where this is the only one that is actually using our custom call to action. Again, all of them will go to the jobs page on LinkedIn. And if you're good with that, we can click create. You might be asking how come I didn't include sponsored in-mail. Sponsored in-mail is another ad format where you can use macros and kind of customize the message a little bit. LinkedIn doesn't consider that one of their dynamic ad formats, so I didn't talk about it. If you are interested in learning about sponsored in-mail, or as they're called now, message ads, you can watch Michelle's video here. But these are the main three dynamic ad formats we currently get. I understand it's nothing crazy like what some e-commerce accounts can do with dynamic shopping or anything like that, but we still do get some options where we can have a much more personalized feel, whether it's using the ad viewer's profile image or using their name in clever ways within our ad headlines or descriptions. If you have any more questions on what we may or may not be able to do with LinkedIn's dynamic ads, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week, so if you want to see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.